Hello everybody and welcome back to Slob Ross Theater. In these segments I make a tape and I show you what's on it. Today's segment, my little feature presentation that I threw together just for you is about Mark Gator Rogowski. Now I feel like I need to give you a little refresher on who Mark Rogowski is. Not a lot of people might know who he is. Mark Gator Rogowski was a very popular skateboarder in the mid to late 80s. He mastered the vert skating. He started a label called Vision with him and another guy. They took over the skate world. Mark Gator Rogowski was a name you would have heard in the 80s, maybe early 90s too, but you definitely would have heard his name in the 80s if you were into skateboarding. All these guys like Tony Hawk and stuff, they came after Mark Gator Rogowski. I'll try to give you as quick of a rundown on the Gator story as quick as I can. That way you can enjoy the little feature presentation I threw together for you on Slob Ross Theater. So around the late 80s, vert skating starts to die off. Early 90s are coming around, people are getting into street skating. Gator couldn't hold up. Everybody was surpassing him. He was a vert guy. He was strictly a vert guy. He always skated vert. There's videos of him skating street and it's not that great. But he stuck around, he stuck it out for a little while. Didn't quite work out for him. You got these younger guys coming along doing stuff. Gator dated this girl named Brandy and eventually they broke up and she left him for a surfer and that really fucked him up because he was not a fan of surfers. He just hates those kind of guys, like all that stuff. It's not, you know, it wasn't good for him. Along comes this girl named Jessica Bergston. It was Brandy's friend. They got together. Uh, he showed her around, you know, California, wherever they were at the time. That's what she wanted. She called him up and she's like, can you show me around? He's like, yeah, sure, I'll show you around. Anyway, I'm, th I'm sure you know what comes next. <sighs> he ended up killing this girl and then confessing to it. He is still incarcerated to this day. It shook the skateboard world. It's still a topic nobody really talks about. Mark just threw a lot of stuff away by doing that. He could have, you know, overcome all of that death of vert kind of stuff because if you look at guys like Tony Hawk, they're vert skaters, you know, and he, uh, he overcame all of that stuff. Uh, Mark could have stuck it out, but he ended up committing that terrible, terrible crime, which by the way, I do not condone. But um, you stick around till the end of my little feature presentation. Uh, I will give you my opinion on what I actually think about uh, Mark Gator Rogowski. So I made this tape for you. Why don't we go throw it in the machine and see what it gives us.
So what do I think about Mark Gator Rogowski? I think he was awesome for the time. He was such an asshole kind of, that was just that skater thing. I really got into it when I watched the documentary, which I really think everybody should watch. It's called Stoked, The Rise and Fall of Gator. That's where I get all my information about this case. There's not much about him out there. Definitely check that out. You know, skip this video, get out of this video, and go watch that right now, and then come back if you want to. But what I really think about Mark Gator Rogowski is yes, he's a piece of shit for doing what he did. Sure, he confessed, you know, he knows he's a piece of shit for doing it. Do I think he should still be incarcerated to this day? Uh, it's hard to say. They denied him parole probably three times. I didn't think he was fit back for society. I don't see, you know, he was in fucking jail for now probably 30 years. He went to jail in 1992. That's a long fucking time. Um, a lot, man. Uh, I hope the, the video I showed you kind of showed some of the clips and stuff of what they were talking about back in those days. Uh, if not, you know, it was just a little artsy thing I threw together. That's what Slob Rock Theater is, and there's definitely going to be more Slob Rock Theater in the future. Give me a follow on Instagram right here. If you like the music you can hear behind me, definitely check out this link right here. Uh, give me a like on Facebook. Find me at Slob Rock. Uh, yeah, until next time, this is Slob Rock Theater.